Hi kids! Today we are packing up our beakers, our bottle brushes, test tubes, Diet Coke, even the lab coats. Our science unit has come to an end. We have had so much fun learning about the amazing world God created and how it relates to his word and his purpose for our lives. Kids, everyone loved seeing you in our videos. And Miss Kathy, Miss Lori, and I really loved getting to spend time with you. In fact, we wanna give all of you kids and your parents a huge shout out. Because week after week, we were thrilled to discover that each and every one of our kids is doing so incredibly well. They are confident, enthusiastic, friendly, and happy. In spite of the challenges of the last year, our kids have all grown so much. They are both surviving and thriving. Kids and parents, we are so incredibly proud of you, and we thank God for his amazing grace. Oh, can't forget these. We have just a few weeks until we launch our summer theme. So in the meantime, we're going to make a short series of videos called Draw Near to God. Each week, we will learn to draw a simple image and talk about how it relates to the Bible. Today, we are going to learn to draw a little sheep. So grab a pencil or a crayon and a piece of paper and draw with me. So we are going to start with making our sheep's face, which is like the letter U. Our U begins with a U. After that, we will add a cloud to the top of his head. Make him nice and fluffy. And then we'll do the same thing for a big fluffy body that comes all the way around and tucks up under his chin. Don't forget the fluffy little tail. Now we are ready to give him some legs. Our legs are very simple. They're just two sticks and an oval for a foot. Two sticks, an oval for a foot. A couple in the back. And he's ready to go. Next, we will give our sheep some ears which is part of what we're going to be talking about in a few minutes. I'm going to color mine in to make them match his feet. And our simple little sheep is almost done. He needs a nose, which will be kind of like the letter T, across and down. And last but not least, we'll make the eyes of our sheep. Now this is the best part because the eyes determine the mood and the personality of our little sheep, our little lamb. So maybe he has two innocent little eyes. Maybe he has wide eyes. Maybe his eyes are sad. Maybe they're sleepy. You decide how your little lamb is feeling. And then finish him off with some curls. And there he or she is. Many times in the Bible, God tells us that we are like sheep and he is our shepherd. In John 10, it says, I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. In the same chapter, it says, the sheep hear the shepherd's voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. He goes before them and the sheep follow him for they know his voice. It's pretty easy to talk to God, to tell him what we want and how we feel, but how can we hear God speaking to us? How can we hear our shepherd's voice? Well, first we need to stay near to him. Sheep can best hear their shepherd when they're standing close by. We can stay close or draw near by reading our Bibles, going to church, worshiping, praying, and talking about God with others. 
Second, we need to try to get rid of all the noise that makes it too loud for us to hear God's voice. That means stepping away from screens and people and noisiness and finding a quiet place. And then, when you're in that quiet place, take time to quiet your mind. Because after all, your mind can be the noisiest place of all. Close your eyes and remember that the Lord is your shepherd. You have everything you need. He gives you green pastures to lie in. He leads you by calm pools of water. Ask God to silence every voice but his. And just like little Samuel in the Bible say, speak Lord, your servant is listening. Kids, your loving shepherd has so much to tell you. Take time to listen. Have a great week. Peace be with you.